According to the latest report from the IAEA, Japan's Fukushima water monitoring is reliable to a large extent, but we do have some worrisome unresolved matters. Now, how safe is it to release the contaminated water, and how has Japan prepared for this? For more, we're joined by Professor Sagun Yer from Sara National University. Welcome to the program. Good morning to you. Good morning. First off, the recent IAEA report pointed out that Tokyo still needs to address some lingering concerns regarding the water release plan. Now, Professor, walk us through the report briefly. What are those concerns? Okay, before getting into that report, let me start off by saying that uh, there are two more reports in the pipeline, first of all. And second of all, that report number four tastes like a thin soup. There were no real chunks of meat, but at least several bullet items caught my eyes. First of all, mm -hmm. the calculation was the so-called source term is relating to what kind of materials, right of materials are in there, but they forgot to mention the extended calculation during the later part of the accident. They just stuck at the moment of accident, that's one thing. Mm -hmm. The other thing has to do with the ALPS processing system. The agency simply assumed that everything is all right. Looks like uh, ALPS has two uh, components. One is uh, precipitator, the other is adsorber, ADSR, absorption and adherence. And they sort of assumed that everything is okay. And they conclude that the list is uh, pretty much comprehensive as well as realistic. I don't buy that idea. And third of all, there was a mention of uh, environmental assessment, radiological environmental impact assessment. And the area ECHO looked at was pretty much restricted, just uh, 270 kilometers east-west and 470 kilometers north south. Mm -hmm. It's just too restricted. It has to be as wide as uh, at least 8,000 kilometers from Tokyo to San Francisco or 10,000 kilometers from Tokyo to LA. So, but that they, the agents didn't mention this mm. either. So in that regard, again, the report tastes like a thin so. Right. The, the area itself is very restricted. Mm -hmm. Now, it looks like it'll be almost inevitable uh, for Japan. Well, not inevitable, but it looks like Japan will push ahead with the releasing of the water this spring. Now, what steps mm -hmm. or procedures does Japan need to take now before actually releasing the water? I mean, what's on top of their to-do list to ensure it is safe? I'd like them to go back to the time of the accident to double check mm -hmm. on the so source term, what kind of materials, radic materials, and how much of it is included in the processed water. They try to process it, but it's not quite processed yet. Three quarters of the radic materials are still in there, then it's radioactive. And the situation is pretty much worse than they thought. So they have to go back to the drawing board and do their homework again. But I don't think they're going to do that. And also, this IEA report is just an advisory report. It's got no executive power. It's really the nuclear regulatory authority situated in Tokyo, Japan. Mm -hmm. They are the ones to let it go. And they already gave TEPCO, or Tokyo Electric, the green light many times. So they're going to go with this plan, regardless right. of the result or final verdict of the final version of the report. Now, from Professor. The International Atomic Agency. Right. Going back to last week, South Korean President Yoon suk yeol has stressed no seafood linked to Fukushima will be allowed uh -huh. into the country. Now, how possible is this plan? Can we really prevent that seafood from flowing into here in the country? Uh, Actually, I have no idea what he was talking about. Maybe it's just lip service, or maybe he's a genius. Because once the genius, Jenny, actually is out of the bottle, there is no way to get her back in. So once the discharge or dumping is started, then there's no way that 
we can stay away from the pollution coming from either the current or the fishery or basically the oyster farm, game farm, and salt farm. So there's no way around. I'm not quite sure what he was really alluding to. Right. All right, Professor Saw, thank you so much for joining us and your insight this morning. My pleasure.